Jay, you want to get us started? Hey, Eric, how you doing today? Good, how are you? Not too bad. How was y'all's practice today? We had a good one. We had a good one. Got down and competed. Uh, Tell me a little bit about uh, what you know about your team. Um, thus far, uh, I think we, we understand, you know what I mean, it's going to be done. It's going to start on the defensive end, just the energy we bring uh, from the jump, you know what I mean? Uh, I feel like we came the last game, we came out flat, and it showed, you know what I mean? Uh, we let the other team dictate how we played, and uh, you know what I mean. I think we we made we made it clear. We got a clear understanding on we're not going to let uh, another team dictate how we play. We, we know we want to get up and down, and that's going to create opportunities for a lot of guys, you know, to get uh, score the ball. And but we know it starts on defense. Greg, go ahead. Eric, how difficult was it for you guys to play that game against UTRGV on short notice, given that they play such a different kind of style? Did that make it uncomfortable for you guys? Uh, you know, obviously, uh, travel is, you know I mean? We, it's going to play a factor, you know I mean? No matter what, throughout the season, uh, you know what I mean? We're, we're going to be tired, but we don't want to, we're not going to, we don't use that as an excuse. Uh, we know there was a lot of things we could have did well going over film. They took it. UTRGV took us out of our game early, uh, and they, we, they, we let them dictate how we wanted to play. And we understand that, and we're, we've been coming in prepared with the right mindset, trying to get better in that aspect. So I, I don't, I don't want to put it – I don't want to make that excuse and uh, let, let the team think it's okay, you know what I mean? So, no. I, this team has a lot of returning guys, but also with yourself and Cedric, there's some new starters and some new guys who are getting a lot of minutes. Do you think it's going to take some time for you to gel, or what's the process like here as a team? Uh, definitely. You know, it's going to take a couple. It's early, definitely early. We, we don't want to get rattled. We're not rattled at all by any means. Uh, but we know that this season we're going to have to come prepared each, each, each and every game with the right mindset, and it starts at practice, uh, being locked in, staying in tune with what coach is saying. And because we, we have a great staff that puts together a great, great game plan for us, uh, it's just a matter of us going out and uh, executing. How's the process coming along for you guys so far? Do you feel like you're getting to know your teammates better and getting more comfortable individually? Uh, definitely, especially, you know, we traveled to Oklahoma once already uh, and came right back, and we're, we'll, we will be going right back again. So, you know, I mean, just being on the road with those guys, uh, the long bus rides, uh, being on the plane together, it's fun. Hotels, uh, hot being in the room, hotels, uh, we, get, we have some good laughs, man. It's, it's going to be a fun year. In your experience, when does a team come together? How long does it usually take before a group kind of starts to click and feel each other out? Uh, you have to understand I've, only, I've played on one Division One team other than uh, my JUCO year. Uh, so my freshman year, I feel like, uh, you know, I mean, it was, a, it was a roller coaster ride all year uh, that year that I can remember. And then being at JUCO, uh, I don't think you can compare uh, that season to a, a D1 season. And so uh, I don't know. I know. I just know that each and every practice we come ready to work. We have a, a positive group of guys. We have a we have freshmen that are energetic, that bring energy to each practice. And so, I mean, we have a fun group. We, have, we get along with each other on and off the court. So uh, I, I think it'll happen in no time. Looking ahead, what was your reaction to getting Oklahoma back on the schedule? Was that something that you were excited about when you saw the news? Uh, I, I couldn't believe it, that it happened so quick. And, uh, it just put a smile on my face because uh, being with it being Oklahoma that we faced after the tough loss that we just took, uh, that's what I want to see. After that, after a loss like that, yeah. Does facing a really strong team sort of help you sort out some issues, or just test yourself in a different way and help the group come together and figure it out? Um, we don't look at the competition who we face, who we're facing. Uh, we just know each each team that we play. Uh, like I said, our coaches put together a good game plan. Uh, we don't look at them. We feel like we have a great group. We have, we can compete with anybody. We we match up with any high major, mid major, or low major. We we're right there with anybody. 
Well, then just looking at yourselves as a team, is there anything that you feel like got exposed or that you really saw against UTRGB that you guys have made an emphasis in practice and will make an emphasis of in that game? Um, with that game, like I said, I feel like they dictated how we played and it took us out of our game. Uh, we were we were concerned about their tempo and uh, them turning us over, and I feel like it took us out of playing fast a little bit. And you know, what I mean, we, we we struggled running certain sets. This physicality, we, you know, I don't know. So, but we're we, we're coming prepared for Oklahoma. Anything else for Eric? Eric, uh, let me uh, let me just ask uh, one last thing. Uh, how, how do you feel about playing these? Uh, you, you had a back-to-back -back, uh, last week, and here we are. We're, uh, week two, we're doing it uh, one more time. How do you feel about playing back-to-back -back, uh, games in two straight weeks like this? Uh, with this pandemic and uh, with them, you know, just extending the season out to us, uh, we're grateful. We're grateful for each game that uh, we're able to go lace them up. Uh, and let's take one game at a time.